I started making artwork with my grandfather when I was very, very, very little. I always did it. I don't think I ever made the decision that I was going to be an artist because it was something that I just always did. I was born and raised in Detroit in the 50s when girls were raised to be good girls, get married and have children. In 1968, my husband was going to be drafted. We went to Montreal. I was 21. My husband filled out the application for both of us, and one of the questions was, are you bringing with you a car, a wife, or cattle? The wife was property. She arrives in Montreal in 68. She's very young, and she's all of a sudden in a brand new place, in a brand new culture, in a brand new world. Once I came to Canada, my work moved into investigating the identity politic of that. And I presumed even the early stuff when I was using makeup, I was talking about identity issues. Women needed to actually find other women that were working the way that they were. So we would look for each other. No one was doing work with the body and women's issues that I knew of. So I, it, it was really important for me to pay attention. There were a number of artists who were really reinventing conceptual art for themselves. We were using a lot of the tenets of conceptual practice at the time of certain use of photography and performance, for example, but really reinvesting that with the content of gender and of women's bodies and using the female subject in all kinds of ways. For many of us active in all of that social change, we knew exactly who we weren't and exactly what we didn't believe in. And this is what I no longer was. But I wasn't quite sure who I was, and my generation didn't know quite who we were to become as a result of this change. When I think about that early work, I think we turned the gaze back on ourselves, and that was a, quite a revolutionary idea, actually, to have a female look at themselves rather than through a male gaze. Society has taught us that we have a shelf life, whether it's attractiveness, which is culturally sensitive, or beauty, or fertility. These are all things that are markers. And past that, that moment, when you become invisible at a certain age, 